peace be upon you this is another episode of sisters halal talk with nan sweet muhammad so today i'm going to be talking about self-care with my very um deeply beautiful like we go back long way from friendship friends to friends so we are going to be talking about self-care with nana hawa teraki assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam so welcome thank you very much okay so now self-care nana i know you're this um uh, person that's like this is her <laughs> so <laughs> tell me what is da, 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 da. well so self-care yeah well self-care actually by it starts with your connection with allah forget the physical outward, outward, outward appearance. everything uh-huh. appearance it actually starts with your connection with allah because with your connection with allah you have peace and that's what everybody aspires because self-care is all about peace you mm. understand now peace of mind you're okay you're contented you don't have prob not like you don't have, have problems, problems but, but you understand uh, now yes you're like in connection with mm-hmm. allah and all that's for me that's like the beginning of your self-care, self-care because having that peace that ease no matter what comes your way your peace of mind because i always tell people like value your peace of mind mm. value your peace of mind because from peace of mind comes self-worth mm-hmm. yeah there's something there yeah, yeah so if you have this peace of mind you know your self-worth like i don't think someone will come and try to make you like shake you and you really really you shake feel inferior yeah, of exact, yourself inferior of yourself or maybe let's say for instance something happens to you mm. and okay like something happened to you and you're like oh allah you understand like you are getting disturbed your peace of mind is affected then you know sometimes some people have these stress outbreaks and all then from that stress you are start you are you are looking not yourself, not normal. And then fr- what you wear, your appearance, you start looking, people will actually know something is wrong with you. So that's why I said peace of mind actually starts with your connection with, with Allah. Allah. So how is your prayers? How is your like recitation? How is your azhars, your dua? You know, knowing that there is a connection, you, have, you don't have to be the most pious person. Yeah, just but you just have to do the little things, things, things you, you do in the best way that you can. In the best way you can. Like having this connection with Allah. And that's the beginning of self-love. For yeah. me, <laughs> for you. that's like for me, that's the beginning of self-love. Because whenever I start to like, my mind starts to wander, I have to sit myself and be like, will this matter at the end of the day? You know, I, I, I agree absolutely 100% with something you said that self-care actually builds and transcends you into a person of self-worth. Yeah. Because most people who care very well, most people who are organized in their life, like, okay, mm. I know how to do this. I have to do this. Like, it's not like you're bringing yourself, um, you're being selfish, mm. but you're just trying to understand how the universe works in some certain way. Mm. and then you navigate your life through it so if those challenges yeah. or some triumph end up coming mm. you are just this i am okay like i am okay i don't need some external validation and, and that, that i am okay the only thing you is like i am okay i have allah it still links you back to allah so that's like the beginning for me of self-care because as you go and as you like start thinking of mostly things and you start losing it and then your self-care then your self-worth like you start feeling low of yourself like you start feeling am i okay and that's when people like me. there's something wrong with you and then that's when people like you give people the power like people sense these things they do so they like start having this okay this person is no she's too i think i can and you know the, the 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 for me personally like for me self-care like caring for myself is in a way i'm this kind of person that if my clothes uh if my wardrobe is disarranged like just know that my mental state is somewhere else or if i don't do dishes like i don't do dishes for a while like i am my mind just know that my mind is scattered why i am smiling is like that's the exact way I am. So whenever my head is like in disarray, I like can't think straight. I actually scatter my wardrobe 
rearrange mm. it. So as I'm rearranging, I am thinking, I'm organizing my, mm. I'm not organizing my wardrobe in the sense. I'm, I'm doing it your, physically, but then mentally, I'm mental state. Like, oh my You know, it. I was, it was so amazing when I came across this man called, um, what's his name again? Jordan Peterson. He's a clinical psychologist. Okay. Like he's very popular right now. So he said something about that the best way to build yourself mm. is to do those little things that you think because every big thing in life transcends from those little things. He was like laying your bed. Like just make sure you I lay think I've, every I've seen it or heard, I've seen it. He said like if you look at soldiers and how organized they are, every morning they have this organized statue of the moment they step their leg like from the bed, mm. they lay their bed. It is like mentally is is actually organizing it, yeah. them for the day. So they are looking forward to, to the, the day. day. And then if you notice if your time like waking up time is usually let's say for instance 9 a.m and then you pass that 9 a.m your body starts like you just feel this weight on you and then you just start dragging your feet and throughout the day that then is like that's how your day has started been ruined. yeah there's this thing um I, I do squats a lot you know like yeah. i like to do those little exercises mm -hmm. and there are some times that i have maybe um, I have some tasks to really do, maybe things that I'm kind of scared of or something. And then in the morning, I am ready, like I am meant to leave the house maybe 8 o'clock and I am, it's almost like 15 minutes to like 8, eight. and everything. And I know I'm rushing it just because I don't want anything to distract down my mental state. Guess what? It does not matter whether I'm running, I must do that <laughs> squat because I know like it helps me mentally, like it just. So physical things are actually a way of building our, our mental our mental states. states yeah. yeah. And then there's this man, um, I can't remember who that was talking. He was like, as you're building your physical appearance, like your physical self-care, this thing, are you also doing it for your soul? Because you know food actually helps us build our yeah, body. body. But then the soul also needs food. food. So and then the soul's food is the recitation, the ashar, the remembrance of Allah, we and then it well. also comes back to the same God. thing, Allah. Yeah. So that's when I heard that man and my man, I was like, okay, this makes a mass sense because the body goes six feet on the ground, and that's the end of it. But then the soul so is actually what continues. So, do you feed your soul regularly, or do you just? This thing because self care is not only about it's not about uh, the, the physical appearance, the, outward, the uh, importance of self care is actually the inner, inner one, one. Like because your soul, you your look, mental, your all these things. Once you look good inside, like once you look good inside, your outward, like it's so beautiful. There's this thing, let me, um, let me say this thing, like it's a personal thing to me, mm. like, um, all this while, like all my years living on this earth. Mm. As I grew into a teenager, I realized I have, um, whenever I walk on the street, I love to take walks. So whenever I walk on the street, there's always a stranger telling me, hi, hello, or something, something, I like you, I do, all this stuff. And I remember when I was almost 24 years old, and you know, you're getting to a new age, you're mm, thinking, mm, what mm. do I want to leave? What do I want to cancel? Mm, what mm, I? Mm. And I'm like, I don't like the way people talk to me on the street and be like, every time, was you really talk to me? Like, I think they are looking down on me or um, now I'm an adult, like I'm almost an adult or I'm mm, already an mm, adult. Mm, so mm. I need people to look at me. I'm like, yes, ma. And all this, <laughs> no, I don't even say anything. <laughs> and guess what? I start squeezing my face on the street. Yeah. And, but sometimes as I grew past that age a bit, I realized like, this is Allah's blessing. It's because you are... It is, actually. The other day, let me tell you what happened to me last week. Exactly. I was in Guarimpa and I was walking. And this guy was like... Um, Inazaki, Inhosa, and everything. Inazaki. Uh, I didn't say anything. I just kept smiling with my earpiece on. And he was like... I'm I was like, in my mind, I was like... I mean, I mean, I mean, where... You know, but those things come from inside it's yes. the little things you do for yourself that ends up that other people end it's up seeing and feeling and it's like the appreciation it. you have for yourself for you when you feel beautiful inside it actually reflects outside yeah so how you wake up in the morning feeling all good jovial that is I how you feel so awful too <laughs> yes that <laughs> works well that awful part is so awful. sometimes you feel awful that's life and that's yeah. why we are humans but then 
when you feel good on the inside, it actually reflects a lot on the outside. Outside. So I told you earlier, I had like an appointment, a meeting. So I woke up feeling good. No, I have been feeling good since the year before yesterday because Ramadan is my (laughs) favorite (laughs) month of the year. (laughs) It's like my favorite month. Then I have been laughing. (laughs) So I ordered a bolt. The guy came and I was just laughing. We were just in all through the ride. Did not even feel like we're it was the same, yeah. So I think he felt comfortable. So I was there. I was almost done. And then he called me. Do you need a ride back? Wow. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. Wow. Because of I was feeling good. It was reflecting. Yeah, too, but I by then when I entered his car, my mind was already, because the meeting I had, well, like my mind was already trying to organize. Yes, and, he organized. and then I kept quiet. And he was like, I have noticed you have been calculative. <laughs> and I smiled and I was like, yeah, sorry. I'm trying the conversation I had. I'm trying to like fit things together, things together like everything. everything and he was like okay okay because you're no longer jovial it was how i was actually feeling from morning because when i woke up alhamdulillah i felt good mm-hmm. and there are times that okay i think like last year i hit a rough patch like terrible rough patch last mm-hmm. year it was not a good one and then i was low and i think some people like people close to me noticed it really? like my sister because yeah. she had to talk to me we had a fight and she was like this is not you, you took it too. like no, no. she's like this is not you and i'm like okay and that thing she said to me made me realize yes i'm missing a puzzle this is actually not me, me. and then i started working on myself going backward taking yeah. diary steps Exa- backwards exactly eventually. because sometimes when you feel okay you are missing it you have to go back yeah Check back what is it where did you miss the step where did you like where did the you road like miss yeah which road did you miss how did you miss the road and then from there you start making the dot connecting the dot and that's all once you start feeling no i need to take it good i need to be good i am good i am okay i am worth it believe me you know, there's, like <laughs> there's this thing oprah winfrey used to say that i am a spiritual being having a human experience i have seen that yes and there's this one there um what's her name maya no is it maya angelo yeah maya angelo she said um i come no maya angelo says something about i come um i come in one mm. but i stand in ten thousand like so like there are certain things and you see this first the bible mm-hmm. Malku. It gives me so much peace. Like when I just say, Blessed is he in Hussan, the dominion, and you're able to do all things. Like, no matter what I am going to, I'm like, Fine. After all, whether I like it or not, it's a good way. It's meant to go to have just Mine my Mine is best. my favorite that I have held there to me that has kept me pushing is um, Allah does not burden a soul with that which it cannot bear. In Bakara that thing like the way it gives me joy joy. but because whenever i'm going through something and that's why i see self-care comes from allah whenever i'm going through something and that word recites i'm i just say calm down calm down it's not in your hands it's in allah's hands let it just go and then you start seeing this okay aura and then i start looking at what i have and that thing i did not get i'm like oh allah has given me a lot sometimes even if I have nothing, I just look wait first. I can see, I can talk, I can walk, I have two hands. And I'm like, wait, what else am I look, like instead in this life? You know, one of the things I really see as a privilege, like for me, is education. Like me thinking that I'm educated and I have a plethora of um, generations of cousins, nef- nephews, really, t- no, cousins, mm. um, uncles or aunties that never had the education, education I had. Like that alone is something that takes me back and say Allah alhamdulillah and sometimes when you look home actually it makes you feel alhamdulillah that contentment I really did enjoy this conversation I did too Wallahi, I did like <laughs> I, did I enjoyed the conversation you know no dull moments with you like all our conversations <laughs> go for hours alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So, I'm still here with Nana Hawa Turaki so this is the part where we ask her this or that. 
So we have this 10 disordered questions for you. Okay. So let's see what it is. <laughs> ah, loud neighbors or nosy neighbors? Loud neighbors or nosy neighbors? Mm -hmm. I will do loud. You do loud? I will do loud. <laughs> I will do loud. <laughs> Are you scared of gossip? <laughs> I, I, see, I, I just prefer to live a simple, let's just, everybody, it's not like we don't like associate or something, but please, let's try to mind also our business. Mind your like, business. If that would, that does exactly, not concern you. If that would does not concern you. So rich and famous or rich and unknown? Rich and unknown. Wow, me too. I like to just enjoy well then. Unknown. Because unknown can do a lot without people knowing. Peace of mind. Exactly. Is just the like goal. no one is following you. No one is looking at you. No one cares you exist. You just exist in peace. That's just it. Um, at museum or history museum. Actually, history museum. I knew that was all you would pay. <laughs> I went to this um, show it's with called... Aradua. Okay, okay. And I loved everything yeah. because I, from his um, prayer mat to his Quran to his clothes, and it just, you keep wondering, oh my God, what oh, did this thing see? Is this is, he's like, history is actually good. History it's is beautiful. beautiful. It is And if beautiful. you want to be successful, just trace back your steps Yeah. to the generations history. and the Asian history. History is just beautiful. Okay, now the next one, be embarrassed or be afraid? Well, embarrassment will f pass. Oh. Afraid, being afraid, sometimes once it hooks you, it's hard to break. But em embarrassment, it's passed. Everybody gets embarrassed. Oh. So, it's passed. Passes. Okay. The next one, sneakers or dress shoes? Oh, sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> so, reality shows or documentaries? Documentaries. I already know that one. <laughs> almost all of you in the house. Your house, you just watched. Do I, I was surprised when I saw Hajara watching documentaries. I'm like, oh. We all do. <laughs> we enjoy it. Like, most especially animal documentaries. And then Aisha roped us into watching all these Chinese documentaries. You don't know what you miss until you look at their history and they value, like we said, history. They history. value their history. It's so beautiful. Okay, um, take a friend on your family vacation or join a friend in their family vacation. Hmm. Take a friend on my family vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and then your friend feels strange if she's not home. <laughs> oh no, I have friends that are very comfortable oh, in my family, so just they're practically like, fam me oh, I could Alicia. take you actually. <laughs> yeah. It would be like family. <laughs> yeah. just like me okay, next one we have success or happiness. Happiness. Mm, yeah. Of course, if you had chosen success over happiness, it would have been strange. No, it will be strange. It's happiness. Loud or quiet? It depends where. It depends where. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes quiet, too much quiet can drive one crazy. Yeah, drive you to madness. You see me, I like being alone. But, but do you know the irony of it? I hate to be in the house alone. <laughs> and I like being alone. Like, the moment I'm the only one at home, is like, oh, more, I'll soon die. The other day, <laughs> my elder sister was saying she was in the elevator alone. Mm. And she started thinking about her grief. Because just those small moments. This being alone thing and thinking you'll soon die, it happens when you live alone a lot. Sometimes I, when I'm alone at home, I'm like, Okay, so if I die now, how long will it take for people to, to realize I'm dead? dead? And recently I lost someone and she was within her family. Her mom held her like through her last moment. And mm. in my mind, I was like, this is something I really want to be with family when I die. It's good. Wow, it's really good. It is, yeah. Okay. Weekends or holidays? Weekends or holidays. Let's mm. see. Hmm. Holidays tends to get boring. boring. <laughs> <laughs> so weekends will do. We can, we do like weekends, like too much holidays, just yeah, sickness. I swear. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. So we've come to the end of today's episode of Sisters Halal Talk. I'm still Nan Sweet Mohammed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And you can. Drop your commentaries be below and if you have topics you want us to discuss about, also share them. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan.
Mubarak.